My friends, this is David White, the Progressives MP from Georgetown West. In June 2022, Barbara Connolly, the MP for Georgetown South and I, brought a motion in Parliament to reduce stamp duty for Caymanians buying property. The motion was passed, but the government has swept it under the rug. So today, I can't help but feel disappointed in Premier Panton and the government. Even more disappointing is that everyone in Parliament agreed to reduce the stamp duty, but government has done nothing about it. We were all on board with every member of the PAC government saying they agreed with us. Here we are over a year later and Caymanians continue to lose out on the opportunity to save tens of thousands of dollars when buying property. The opposition has talked about it many times. The opposition leader also wrote to the Premier and asked that he bring the changes to reduce the stamp duty. We are still waiting for a response from the Premier on this. Premier Panton, it is not the opposition you are ignoring. You and your government are ignoring the Caymanian people. With the cost of living crisis and rising interest rates, it's tough out there for people, especially when trying to buy a home or a piece of land. When elected, we promise to make it better for Caymanians, but it's as if the Premier and the government are still waiting for the ink to dry on their promise. Today, I say to Premier Panton and the members of the PAC government, let us do something that can actually help Caymanians. Let's extend the zero duty cap for first time Caymanian home buyers. So no stamp duty should be charged if the home costs up to $500,000. If it costs more, then only 2% duty will be paid on the extra cost. When buying land up to $200,000, Caymanians would pay no duty if this is the first land purchase. And if it costs more, only 2% duty would be paid on the extra amount. And Caymanians who are not first time property buyers would pay only 5% stamp duty instead of 7.5%. Premier Panton, the amendments are not rocket science and would make a real difference for Caymanians dreaming of owning a home or land. Let's not wait another year. My fellow Caymanians, let's get our voices heard. Give Premier Panton and his PAC colleagues a friendly nudge. Lobby them and let them know you want action on this and you would like it now. Let us give Caymanians a fighting chance to get a home or buy land. Join me, Barbara, and the progressives in calling on the government to change the law to reduce stamp duty on property purchases for Caymanians. Parliament has already agreed to it. It is time to get it done. Thanks for listening to me. God bless you and God bless our beloved Cayman Islands.